Coming from the north, our first stop was the MK Tunnels. These passages were hollowed out of the Navajo sandstone in 1948 under the orders of the Department of Defense. Need a flashlight? The idea was to use the tunnels to test the effectiveness of explosives on the surface. Workers lived in a shantytown for four years while the tunnels were under construction. The locals believed the purpose of the tunneling was to build a complex similar to Cheyenne Mountain, but the sandstone failed to pass the test. What are the snakes like it in here? <laughs> The trailhead to view Ruin Arch begins at the MK Tunnels. The trail is short but steep and requires climbing over rocks. The arch sits near a small ruin. The Buckhorn Wash pictograph panel is right off the road and seems to attract the most people. Several signs along the wall explain who they believe created these pictographs. Questions are asked to help us think critically about what we're seeing. There's a lot we'll never know. The panel was restored in 1996 after vandals covered the area in graffiti. This process of restoration was shown here as well. Further down the road we stopped to see the swinging bridge. The bridge, built in the 1930s, was constructed to help farmers move livestock, giving access to thousands of acres of winter grazing. The 160-foot long structure is the only suspension bridge remaining in Utah. That's the worst looking bridges in my propane truck. <laughs> How did Kendall get off the side of the bridge and hang there to do that? <laughs> Visiting all these sites made for a nice morning, but we are about to see the real reason the Hubs wanted to return to Buckhorn Drop. You see, at the end of our trail riding yesterday, he saw a sign directing balloon crews to a camping spot. He followed the sign and found five balloons and their crew camped in an open area. After talking to one of the crew members, we learned that they were having a mini rally of sorts. You see, the Hubs was a balloon pilot for 30 years. He had found his people.